everyone, Joel Anson here. Today we're in the beautiful, yes, the beautiful Yakima, Washington. Look at this behind me, gorgeous. Rolling hills and this is actually a desert, so there is a lot of sand, not over here, but in other places. Um, but today we're outside Bullseye, Burr, and Subs. So we have been here before, we've been here quite a few times. We've done quite a few challenges here. We've done a taco challenge, a torta challenge, a burrito challenge and a burger challenge four four challenges i think so far and anyway they actually have six here in total which is nuts um the fifth one and the newest one being the addition of a quesadilla challenge yes so this is actually been my first ever quesadilla challenge i think you also get to pick your toppings um if not i know it comes with lettuce and pico de gallo on it uh, which is delicious um, for this challenge you only have 10 minutes yes only 10 minutes that's what all their challenges are they're like super quick but they often carry cash prizes i think all of them do actually and this one has a jackpot cash prize sitting at 400 bucks so today we are gonna have 10 minutes to eat a massive quesadilla it's actually four of of their extra large quesadillas, um, one of each of the different kinds of meats. So you have like El Pastor or to pork, I don't know if it's El Pastor. You have a carne asada, you have a chicken, you have a birria. Again, load it with cheese, and uh, that's pretty much that. Like, again, you win, you get the meal for free, you do get the jackpot prize. So we're in quest for 400 bucks, you got free meal. That's about that. Like I said, it's a lot of food, but um, I don't have anything else to say. So let's head in, let's have some fun with these food. Let's get eating. All right, everybody, so here we are with the big queso. Yes, this is the big, 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 big quesadilla challenge. So if you're not familiar with quesadillas, it is essentially meat and cheese melted together on a grill in a flour tortilla. There is some lettuce and some pico de gallo in here also. And then um, all the meats, so there is chicken, there is pork, there is beef, and they have a birria as well, which is a stewed beef. So it looks delicious, and they topped it with a uh, sour cream and a guacamole or avocado. So yeah, pretty cool. I do have some salsa verde here. Um, but yeah, I'm pumped. So like we said, $400 to actually complete this challenge. But where the real difficulty is gonna come in is only a 10 minute time limit. Yes, only 10 minutes. So like we said, a lot of food, not a lot of time. So it's such a short time that we're definitely going to have to uh, focus in, that's for sure. But I think I'm ready. Again, some salsa, we got some pico. No short cheese on this. They say it's about seven pounds. And I think most of that weight's coming from the cheese. So it does look good though. How about we say at the count of, ready there, my friend? All right, let's say five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Mm. Very tasty. Great flavor on that chicken. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here in Yakima, Washington, taking on this great big quesadilla challenge. So pretty much went over the majority of the details, essentially four of their extra large quesadillas, loads of cheese in between the quesadillas, adhering them together along with pico de gallo. We have lettuce, we have all their different meats, so a nice variety of meats and everything else. One minute. A lot of cheese. So this was an undefeated challenge and it was a jackpot. So what that means is there's like a base level, uh, you know, let's say the challenge starts at X amount of dollars and every time somebody fails it, they add a little bit more money into the pot. So the pot was sitting at $400 and uh, I was definitely excited to give this a go. With the 10 minute time limit, I knew it was going to be very, very difficult. Uh, the restaurant said it was about seven pounds of food. A lot of that weight coming from cheese, let's be honest, like seriously, a ma like crazy amount of cheese. Eight minutes left. Okay. Woo! 
Delicious, but wow. And sometimes in a video, like the challenge looks real size. Sometimes it probably makes it look a little bigger than it actually is. This time, I gotta say, the camera really makes this look a lot smaller than it actually was. This was a very large challenge. And the best kind of way to exemplify that is look at every time I pick up a new quesadilla. So you can see how long it is. Um, and of course you have to understand these are not only like 18 inch tortillas or whatever, um, but they have all the toppings and fillings in them. Seven minutes. So I will say I absolutely loved the flavors of this challenge, like everything was just so delicious. Even though I'm not the biggest cheese fan, the meats they have here are fantastic and I've tasted them, you know, a variety of different ways, a variety of different times when I've done the different challenges like the tacos, the tortas, etc. Um, which again, I'll speak a little bit on here momentarily. One thing I will say is this really is quite a difficult challenge. The time limit does make it very tight. I mean, let alone, you know, the seven-ish pounds of food. I mean, that's a lot of food in general, but in 10 minutes, it is quite tight. The nice thing, though, is that the quesadilla, again, it was cooked so nicely. It was moist, it was juicy. Woo! And with just the right amount of crisp, it was very, very tasty and flavorful. At that, though, let me know kind of your favorite meat down below. Again, we got pork, we got beef, we got chicken. Let me know what your favorite is down below. I, you know, it really depends on the day, but I'm gonna go with a beef for me. Oh, jeez. Ah. All right. Briefly, they do have a variety of different challenges here. Um, definitely, if you like food challenges, this is the place to be. And they keep bringing more out. Like I said, they recently brought out a hot dog challenge. This was a pretty recent addition to their list of challenges being the quesadilla challenge. They have long-standing burger challenges, long-standing taco challenges. They had a viral burrito challenge, which again, I'll try to drop some links down below. But the amazing thing is they all have cash prizes. Halfway there, five minutes. Thank you. So five minutes in. Woo. A lot of cheese on these things. Really good though. Let's see when we finish this up. But at that, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Like I said, literally the hub of food challenges in Washington state, full of cash prize food challenges, really makes some worthwhile doing. Not to mention the food is great, the staff are awesome, it's veteran owned, and uh, yeah, like I said, I got no complaints about this place. That being said, this was a very difficult challenge. I was really struggling to be able to get this down. So let's tune on in. Let's see if we can actually complete this in the 10 minute time limit. See if we can get that $400 prize and the meal for free. Otherwise, like I said, we're paying for the meal and no cash. So let's see what happens. Three minutes left.
Very, very good. Really did enjoy that. But holy crap. I gotta say, when it came to the amount of cheese on that thing, man, there's a lot of cheese on that thing. But uh, very, very good. I'm getting the beardy at the end there. Great flavor. Actually, there's a little bit of spice to it. Woo. There you go. There's that air I was uh, waiting to come out. Excuse me. Woo. Comments to all the chefs here, guys. The staff here are great. I really do love the food here. I think it's so awesome and so unique. This place is in a gas station. And, I mean, they love food challenges as much as I do and you do as well. So I really appreciate them offering all these cool challenges, cool experiences, getting some entertainment, you know. And, uh, and really, I got to say, their food is really, really good. I love the flavors. The, uh, the pork, the one pork case I had on here is fire. I love that flavor. I had it with, I think, the tacos before. Um, so for that, we do get the $40 quesadilla for free. Technically, four quesadillas, but you know what I'm saying. We do get the uh, $400 cash jackpot, which is super, super cool. And um, I tell you what, that was, uh, that was really good. Very satiating, very, very satiating. And oh my gosh, like I said, no shortage of cheese. I'm sure you've heard that a thousand times from me so far, but uh, yeah, no complaints. It's really, really good. Again, huge thanks to everybody here at Bullseye. I love Yakima. Yakima's a great place. Definitely support this place. Veteran owned, really cool spot. Like I said, for food, gas, drinks, all of the above. So, and that everyone, until next time, say happy, all the hungry, happy eating. Awesome, dude. And that's it. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Well, thank you. There you go. Thank $400, you. man. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so much. Yeah, my hands are even clean today because I wore gloves. Yeah, but you did, man. Yeah, but anyway, guys, like I said, huge thanks to all the staff here. Love this place. And uh, they have so many challenges. They have a, a burger challenge. They have a taco challenge. They have a quesadilla challenge. They have a torta challenge, a burrito challenge. I don't know if I said that. So I'll, I've done quite a few of them. I'll put the, some of those links down below. But uh, yeah, like I said, huge thanks to everybody here. And have a good day, everybody. So how about we get started? Oh, be with me, dear Lord. And this is pretty cool. So I'm here at Lake Sammamish. I believe that's the proper pronunciation. Just a little bit outside Seattle, Washington. Um, fun fact, 
besides it being absolutely stunning and beautiful, I was actually here a, a, almost a year to the day ago. So today is June 29th, 2022, and I was here on what was June 26th, 2021. So pretty cool, still as beautiful as ever. A bit colder today, but I think I'm still gonna go in the water.